So in today's video, I'm going to be going to show how to make this very, very, very simple hero section in Elementor. The purpose of this video is just to show you how to make an eye striking hero section that gives that goes straight to the point and let the users know what your business is about and have valuable calls to actions that let them know exactly where this button will be taking them to. So let's get into the video. So the plugins we're going to need for this tutorial, we're going to need Elementor, we're not going to need Elementor Pro, we'll be fine with the basic version of Elementor. And then we might be using this, well we are going to be using this add-on, this Element Kit Elementor add-on. So those are the two elements that we're going to need, I mean plugins that we're going to need for this tutorial. So let's get into the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to open in our section, we're going to open this one over here. We're going to click onto this one, we're going to give it a width of 13, 13. Then we're going to go to height, we're going to go to min height, and we're going to go 790. Great. So now we're going to go to style and we're going to go into background and we're going to add in our image that we're going to use for the hero section. We're going to add in this one over here. Great. So now it looks like this, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to display size and we're going to go to cover and we're going to go to position and we're going to go to center center. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to background overlay and I'm going to click on gradient. I'm going to call it the first one in black. I'm going to go with the second one. We're going to color that one in black as well. And we're going to give this 0 0.7. And then for the angle, we're going to go 174. Great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our heading for this um, hero section. So we're going to add in your gateway to smart investing. And the reason and then why we're putting in this heading in particular is because for a hero section this hero section is for converting we want to get the most conversions as possible and want to let people know when they hop into your website what your website is about so when someone comes into your website we want to make it very bold that first this is an investment firm so what we're going to do is we're going to type in heading i'm going to drag that right there to the middle i'm going to copy uh what we just wrote in i'm going to set in the center align this we're going to go to title Gonna color this in white. Gonna go to typography and we're gonna uh, give this a font family of outfit. Gonna give it a size of 68. 68 pixels. Then we're gonna go to weight and we're gonna go to 800. I'm gonna give this uppercase. I'm just gonna see how that looks. Okay, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to remove the separator. And we're going to highlight a few text in this. So we're going to highlight gateway. And we're going to highlight investing. Perfect. So now that we've got that, we're going to go to focus title and we're going to color this in our main green that we're using for this one. So that's over here. And then for the hover, we're going to do the exact same thing. And now we have this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our description. So we're going to go into title description. We're going to enable that. And then we're going to go back here and just going to copy in what we wrote for the description over here. Copy, go back and put that in. And then once I color in this description, I'm just going to go into a little bit more about the description. Obviously, this could be changed. This this whole video is just a tutorial on actually how to grab attention and show people your information while giving them credibility and sending them where you want where you want your visitors or your leads to go when they hop into your website so for the title description we're going to go with outfit for size we're going to go 19 for the weight we're going to go 600 and then for the transform transformation we're going to go capitalize so we're going to capitalize all of the first letters of the word so here we have um just the at ste invest we redefine wealth creation by, by providing exclusive exclusive access to diverse range of investment opportunities whether you're a seasoned investor or just beginning to navigate the financial landscape so that's just basically a short description of what the business does and how they can help you so now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our first button so we're going to go over here and we're going to go to button put that directly underneath i'm going to center align this and then we're going to get in our text that we wrote so I'm um, just going to copy this in and we're going to go over here and we're going to copy in the text. 
So it says, watch how we grew Jacob's portfolio by 500%. So this is a very direct call to action. It's a video that we want them to watch, but we're telling them exactly what the video is. And we're giving them very a lot of, lo a lot of information on exactly how they helped. So instead of doing, make, writing something broad about just like, how we helped other businesses or how we helped other investment portfolios we're giving them an exact number of how much they helped a person grow their portfolio by so by 500 percent so now i'm just going to edit this in i'm going to go to icon library and i'm going to type on play i'm going to go over to this one here right here and i think it was the other one the one with the fill inside one second play yeah it's this one so we're going to add in this one over here and now we're going to edit it. We're going to go to typography. We're going to go to outfit. I'm going to give it a size of 20 pixels and we're going to give it a weight of 600. Almost bit my tongue. And then we're going to go uppercase. Great. And now we're going to change the color of the background to our main green. And then we're going to go with radius. We're going to look for the radius and we're going to give that zero. So you want this to be sharper on the sides of the buttons. So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this. And then we're going to add another one. And this one is going to be. Talk to us about your investment plans today. Again, this is another call to action, but this one isn't for a video. But again, this one is very detailed on what to actually click. So instead of writing something like learn more or contact us or just something like that, we made this very definitive and no letting them know where the button is going to take them and just giving them a clear call to action rather than le learn more what well, they don't know exactly what they'll be learning is it about them is it about the investments they've done. So we're just making the call to actions very definitive and straight to the point and very clear. So I'm just going to remove the button and we're going to change a few things with this. So for the typography, we're going to lower the um, size. I'm going to lower it down to 16. We're going to leave everything else, but we're going to change the background color. We're going to change this to white and then we're going to change the text color to the main green. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I don't like the way the gap between the description and the first button is a bit too wide. So I'm just going to uh, narrow it down a little bit. So we're going to go back to this one over here and then we're going to go to margins and I'm going to go to bottom. I'm just going to re reduce the button. 35 and perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our bottom shape divider just to add some just add a little bit of design to our hero section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click onto our uh, section our main one I'm gonna go down to shape divider I'm gonna go to bottom I'm gonna go down to wave brush this one over here and then I'm gonna lower down the height a little bit and just like that so right off the bat we're seeing here our hero section so if someone came into the website so this is what exactly they'll be seeing so for an instance we're saying this is the people at the law firm i mean the investment firm this is all the workers in the background so they're seeing the team in the investment firm and then we have it's very straight to the points because if they just seen this picture it could be anything it could be a law firm it could be it could be anything it could be an insurance company but we have it so they know exactly what it is so your gateway to smart investing so straight off the bat they know it's for investing and then at the bottom here we have a short title description telling them who they help and how they help and then underneath we have a call to action here where you can see a video of an actual person who gained 500 percent in their uh, investment portfolio and then we have another definitive um call to action talk to us about your investment plans today and then um now we're going to add in this section over here the hero the he the menu section we're going to add in the menu and then we're going to also add in the logo up, up top there and then we're going to do it for mobile devices also so let's get straight into that okay so let's add in our uh, menu so first what we're going to do is we're going to add in another section obviously this is for an example if you did want to add it for all of your pages you could just do the exact same thing that i'm doing in this video but you would just do it in the actual header section so let's get started anyway so first we're going to add in our section but we're going to add in this one right over here so we're going to add in this one and we're going to go over to width i'm going to give it a width of 13 13 and now i'm going to start off with our logo so i'm going to add in our image there i'm going to click onto our logo here and then we're going to give this uh first we're going to left align it and then we're going to give this a width of 37 okay and then we're going to go to margins 
and I'm going to give it a top of minus 21. Minus 21. And then we're going to go to menu. So we're going to add in menu, this one here, and we're going to add in our WordPress menu. And what we're going to do is, so we're going to add in, we're going to change the text. We're going to go to outfit. We're going to leave it at 600 bold. I'm going to give it a size of 18. And then we're going to uppercase all of these. Great. So now we're going to change in the color. We're going to change the color to white. I know you're not going to be able to see it right now. You know, I'll change the color at the end just so you'll be able to see all the edits I make after I push this section up just so it'll be transparent. So for the horizontal padding, we're going to go with 49. And then for, um, we're going to remove the underline on these, the text. So we're going to go to decoration and we're just going to go to none. Okay. And then we're going to go to advance. And we're going to go with, we're going to see where it says Z index. We're going to go with three. You're going to see why in a minute we put it to three. And then we are going to see how it looks. Great. So now we're going to go to advance and we're going to go to margin. I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to go top 19. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get this section over here. The second one, matter of fact, let me just open my navigator so you can see. So the first one is this one over here, the one with the menu. And then the second one is there, our hero section. So we're going to click onto our hero section and then we're going to go here and we're going to go minus and then we're going to go up. Actually, matter of fact, before I do that, let me just change it to white now, actually, because that's ready. So we're going to change to our white. And I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to go look at this. I'm going to move all of this up. Okay. But the image didn't quite move. So one second, let me just see. There we go. And the image also goes to three, but it could work with one, but just put it three as well. So great. So that is everything looking perfectly fine now so we have our logo coming up and we also have our menu coming up also so now what we're going to do is we're going to make this responsive to mobile devices so we're going to quickly head over to that and then we're going to start editing on mobile device okay so we're going to click onto our mobile icon over here okay and so you can see this looks like a mess so first we're going to get started with our heading so we're going to go over to our heading we're going to go to title we're going to reduce the sizing Sorry, one second. I'm going to put it down to just trying to get it there to 30, 32. And then we're going to, we're going to start over with the heading. So we're going to click onto the column, the first column, the one that holds the image. We're going to click onto that. And I'm going to give this 60. And then we're going to go over to our second column, the one that holds the menu. We're going to give this 37. Or 36, sorry. So we're gonna give that 36. As you can see, this is still uneven. The the logo is a bit too small, but we're gonna get straight to that. So first, we're gonna get started with the actual uh, logo. So first, we're gonna unlink this. I'm gonna get that to just basically nothing, to zero all around, and then we're going to increase the size of the logo to 42. And now we're gonna go over to our men our mobile menu, and then we're going to go over to content. We're gonna go over here going to align that to the left side and now we're going to go over to style we're going to go to toggle button we're going to change the background color to white the color to the main green and then for the radius we're going to put that to zero okay but as you can see it's still very uneven so what we're going to do is we're going to push this down so we're going to go to advance and i'm going to click that and I'm going to go down a little bit more than 19. I'm going to go with 25. Let me see how that looks. Great. So now what we're going to do is might just increase the size of this a little bit. Let me just see. Okay. Increase that a little bit more. And then we could put this down more as well.
example what we're going to do is we're just going to put this down to seven minus seven and then for this we're going to go minus two and see how that looks perfect four okay perfect so now for this what we're going to do is as we can see the heading is way too close to the actual um, menu the menu and the logos so we're going to go over to our this heading here the one that holds the menu and the logo we're going to go to advance and we're going to click that and we're going to go to bottom i'm going to go 40. so we're going to click that at, we're going to keep that at 40 and then for the heading we're going to reduce the size of the headings for both so for this one we're not going to leave it and we're going to go down to 18. And then for this one, we're going to go down to 16. Sorry, 14. So we're going to go down to 14 for this one. And then for this here. No, I'm going to leave that at 32 or 33. Won't really make a difference. And then for this, I don't like the gap that it has between the description and the actual heading. So I'm just going to remove that. I'm link that I'm gonna push that up a little bit more to minus 11 so that way it's a little bit better but I do think this heading could just be a little bit bigger let me just see if I put a little bit bigger just so it could pop out a little bit more let's just see yeah the heading will have to be perfect if you want it a bit smaller but I think I'll just leave it at 33 the way it was So then we could just uh, leave it there at 33 and then that's that's it guys that is the heading that's our hero section made for the mobile device and also our desktop device if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a like or subscribe if and subscribe or comment down if you guys have any questions or if you guys want to learn a little bit more about me my this link to my instagram is down in the description or in my bio in my youtube have a great day guys thank you